Last week, the vice president's offer might have sounded like victory for the protesters. Now, for this crowd, it's just not enough. Tell anyone who orders you to fire on us, no, the demonstrators chanted. We are your people. People who have found a voice and a place to call their own. Liberation Square has become, as one demonstrator called it, the moral heart of Egypt. He will be here until he gets out. The atmosphere is a mixture of jamboree, mass picnic, and religious festival. Everyone, right down to the very youngest, understands the goal. Leave Mubarak. One group of lawyers is here because, says Ayman Gawani, they are fed up with corruption in the courts. The government not respect uh, the people in Egypt, uh, don't respect anything in, in Egypt, the law and the people. As dusk fell, it was clear the official curfew was going to be completely ignored. <laughs> The people have declared this essentially a Mubarak-free zone. Ringed by the army, the police pushed back. This is the only place in Egypt where there's true freedom of expression. It's certainly not getting any coverage on state television, which broadcast business-as-usual pictures of the president swearing in his reshuffled cabinet. But the new ministers are all Mubarak old guard. Unacceptable to angry Egyptians demanding a fresh start. One man who wants to offer just that is Mohammed El Baradai, Egypt's bookish Nobel Prize winning diplomat who fought his way into Tahrir Square over the weekend to address the crowd. Change is coming, he promised them. Baradai is at home on the world stage. As the longtime head of the International Atomic Energy Agency, he was a key figure in policing Iran's nuclear program. But after decades abroad, he probably doesn't have the grassroots support necessary to lead the country. His diplomatic skills, though, may make him ideal to smooth a political transition. A transition that tonight seems more likely than ever. Now, tomorrow morning, what's being billed as the Million Man March is supposed to take place here in Tahrir Square. And it looks to us as if the soldiers uh, around the square have pulled back their tanks to actually make room for this tsunami of a crowd that's expected. Uh, the army reiterated once again today that it wasn't going to use violence on the protesters, so that may even encourage more people to come. Elizabeth, this is so interesting because here you have the army siding with the people in the street. Mubarak says he's not going anywhere. This is an enormous test of wills. Is there any way to predict how this is going to turn out? Well, Harry, this is brinksmanship of the highest order, and so far the government has blinked twice. It offered a cabinet reshuffle, and then tonight uh, we've heard that uh, they're offering constitutional talks. Each time there's been a concession, uh, the protesters have picked up momentum. So I would say, the way it looks tonight, uh, these demonstrators are holding the high cards. Elizabeth Palmer with us in Cairo tonight. Once again, thank you.